He is known for his contributions to the field of music as a composer and conductor. He studied at the Leipzig Conservatory and played with the Gewandhaus Orchestra in Germany. His name is Alfred Hill. In the world of music, one name stands out, Alfred Hill, the legendary composer from Melbourne. Born in 1869, although some sources mistakenly state 1870, Hill's early years were spent in Wellington. It was there that he honed his skills at the Leipzig Conservatory from 1887 to 1891, studying under esteemed musicians such as Gustav Schreck, Hans Sitt, and Oscar Paul. Hill's talent on the violin led him to play with the prestigious Gewandhaus Orchestra, performing alongside renowned conductors like Brahms, Grieg, and Tchaikovsky. During his time in Germany, Hill composed several pieces, including the notable Scotch Sonata for violin and piano. Returning to New Zealand, Hill assumed the role of director for the Wellington Orchestral Society. He dedicated himself to teaching the violin, performing recitals, leading chamber music groups, and conducting choirs. Hill was not only passionate about music but also an advocate for the arts. He actively campaigned for the establishment of a New Zealand Conservatorium of Music and an Institute of Maori Studies in Rotorua. It was during this period that he completed his first string quartet, which drew inspiration from Maori themes and gained recognition in the United States through performances by the Zollner Quartet. In 1897, Hill ventured back to Australia, where he embarked on a successful teaching career. He married his first wife, Sarah Brownhill Booth, and together they had three children. With names like Isolde, Tristan, and Elsa, the Wagnerian influence was evident in their family. However, in 1921, Hill divorced his first wife and married Miri Solomon, a former student and fellow composer. Hill's daughter, Isolde Hill, would go on to become a renowned opera singer, while his granddaughter, Patricia Hill, found fame as an actress. Alfred Hill, a prolific composer and conductor, made significant contributions to the world of music. In 1933, he composed and conducted music for the play, The Ship of Heaven, which was produced by the Independent Theatre. This experience marked a turning point in Hill's career, as he decided to devote himself fully to composition from 1937 onwards. Throughout his career, Hill composed over 500 works, showcasing his versatility and talent. His impressive repertoire included 13 symphonies, 8 operas, numerous concertos, a mass, 17 string quartets, and other chamber works. Additionally, he created two cantatas on Maori subjects, 11 choral works, and 72 piano pieces. One of Hill's notable achievements was the recording of his string quartet from 1945, which became the first Australian composed chamber work to be recorded. Although his works are not widely recognized today, Hill gained popularity on both sides of the Tasman for his short song, Wyata Poi, which was recorded by various singers, including Peter Dawson. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in Hill's compositions. His piece, Green Water, featuring words by John Wheeler and performed by a narrator and orchestra, has been recorded multiple times. The Marco Polo label played a significant role in reviving Hill's works by recording most of his symphonies, which were beautifully performed by the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. Alfred Hill's immense contribution to the world of music continues to be appreciated, as his compositions find new audiences and appreciation in the modern era. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.